In this video, I'm going to take the bus down to Playa del Carmen and show you what the town looks like and the recently opened beaches. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video I am gonna go down to Playa del Carmen where I lived actually before for three months. I'm also gonna show you how easy it can be to travel around in Mexico when you use the Colectivo buses. I've been here in Cancun, one of the bigger tourist destinations here in Mexico for the past, um, I don't know, for a while actually. But today we're gonna go out for an adventure. Mexico is open for international travelers now. So I wanted to see what Playa del Carmen was like. So now I'm on my way to the Colectivo bus uh, to take it to Playa del Carmen. And it's really easy because you have these Colectivo buses just going everywhere. You see them on the streets when you just go out on the road. In my other videos I've taken the Colectivo buses all around the Yucatan Peninsula and most of the famous places here. I want to encourage people when they come to Mexico to um, travel around a bit more and not just stay in the resorts, which most people do. Anyone can come to Mexico now and it seems like things are almost back to normal after the virus. In most public places you are just required to wear a mask. So here we can see the Colectivo bus and it says on the front of the bus where it's going to. Here you can see it says Playa del Carmen. So all you have to do is hop on and then pay when you get on the bus. This 45 minute ride would only cost me 40 pesos, which is around 2 US dollars. I was thinking of going across the country and to the west side of Mexico to continue my travels, since I had been in all of the most famous places in the Yucatan Peninsula. The coast of the eastern part and the state of Quintana Roo is facing the Caribbean Sea and here you have some of the best places in Mexico that I had been to. I was going from Cancun, past by Puerto Morelos and in to Playa del Carmen. There is a well-developed highway that goes all along the coast and passes by all the famous places in the map. So I came into Playa del Carmen and the Colectivo ride actually took much longer this time than when during the pandemic. Now there is so much traffic and uh, it seems like the town is kind of back to normal. Lots of uh, people on the street and uh, cars everywhere. There was no more quarantine and people seem to have gone back to a regular routine. If you are coming to Mexico from any part of the world now, there is no need to be in quarantine and you can go straight out of the airport. Now I'm on my way down to the beach to see what that looks like. I've heard it's still not open, the beach. It opened up about two months ago and then I heard it closed again here in Playa del Carmen. So we will see what the reality is. I walked through the park and it seemed a bit empty. First I would get up on one of the tall buildings, then head down to the beach. I've been here in Mexico since January. I think now is actually the hottest weather, weather I have experienced. It's really, really humid and sweaty. You walk a few minutes and the sweat is dripping. So I'm gonna meet some friends here and then I'm gonna show you the beach after. I came up to one of many tall buildings with the rooftop pools in Playa del Carmen and looking out over the sea on the other side you can see the ferry that goes several times per day out to the island of Cozumel. Oh, we're here at the rooftop in Playa del Carmen. There are so many cool rooftops here actually with sw swimming pools. Here we have an infinity pool. Now it's time also for some pool tricks. to be here in the swimming pool. Very, very nice. But we have to go also to the beach. Uh, now we are curious to see if the beach is open. <sighs> Things are actually open here uh, again. We have a lot of stands over here and lots of police people. Okay, 
Here we have Fifth Avenue. It was under construction actually for a while, but it looks like uh, maybe they have fixed it. The famous Fifth Avenue seemed to still be under construction. You will see more of that later in the video. We came out to the beach and it was open again to the public. We could see hundreds of people enjoying this nice evening and enjoying the beach again. It seemed like there was still some seaweed along the edge of the beach, but the water a bit further out still looked nice. Further down I could see hundreds of people enjoying this nice evening in Playa del Carmen. We're here on the beach now in Playa del Carmen and uh, there are a lot of people here, several hundred people on the beach. Last time when I lived here there was nobody on the beach during the pandemic but now we're having a really really nice time here on the beach. The famous 5th Avenue with all the shops was waiting to get new streets on top of the gravel. By the time you're watching this video it might have been fixed. It seemed like the life was back to normal and to go into a store you only needed to wear a mask. I'm on my way back after a day in Playa del Carmen and it seems like uh, a lot of things are open here. Almost everything. So many people on the beach and uh, yeah. It's a totally different vibe now. Seems like people don't really care so much anymore. Uh, Cancun! We got on the Colectivo again and headed back to Cancun. In the next video I will be going to a resort in Playa del Carmen. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see the video. I'm back. I'm back home in Cancun. Oh, I came back home and um, in conclusion, it seems like um, Mexico has started to open up uh, places a bit more or actually people I think don't care as much anymore because I think also we need to um, try to live a regular life. We can't, they can't just close places for years, you know, people need to uh, make their own decisions if they want to go out. We have to be optimistic for the future. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave it a thumbs up, post a comment and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time.